In our toilet, you might be asking. <coughs> Not for normal reasons, I assure you. Um, but <sighs> today is the 26th of October, and I've just written a song. And <laughs> as life would have it, <laughs> I uh, got to the kind of completion of the song. Sitting on his toilet. <laughs> Not sitting on the toilet, using the toilet, but just using the toilet as a seat uh, to play my guitar. It sounds really crazy, but it's just the way it happened. Uh, but I wanted to explain to you how it all began. How I ended up in a toilet, or on a toilet, um, finding the final groove to a song uh, that I'd been working on most of the day. Well, it actually all started a little bit last night. I'll show you. Right. So, it actually started here. I was sat here last night working on some videos and I had a text conversation with my daughter's piano teacher. I just asked, you know, it was there any favourite songs that she found inspirational for her. And she referred to uh, Tori Amos. And um, <coughs> she told me her favourite songs. And I remembered the Cornflake Girl song. And so I had a little listen to that. And uh, Tori Amos had been a very influential person on uh, the piano teachers own journey so that's fine I, I like that I listen to the music it's really good I agree Tori Amos is a very good writer and loves playing on the piano which is a very honest writer um, too and likes to go between the piano and rock quite a bit and yeah so I had that conversation I then took my daughter to her piano lesson <clears throat> like I normally do in the morning and on this occasion because it was half term whereas normally it's half to school all normal um, and then the piano teacher sent us a little practice uh, video for my daughter to practice which is all very normal um, and I sent it on to my daughter but When I watched the video, I literally saw the sunlight reflecting off of the piano. Don't know how clear that is. Let me get around. So there we go. You can see the morning sunlight literally reflecting all off of the piano as they were playing and um, <laughs> I then instantly uh, thought of a line which was the morning sunlight upon the black and white bones she poured out her colours of her soul something like that and it just sounded like the first line of a song. <laughs> um, I mean, I pointed out this uh, amazing little video back to the teacher and I gave her this line. I uh, thought maybe she could write a song with it. Um, <clears throat> but that day, or today, uh, I wrote a song. Uh, initially, I sat down on my piano. And uh, <laughs> wrote out the first line, and then I 
kind of wrote literally straight away wrote the first verse and kind of the sort the chorus. I then literally sat down and had some toast and cheese <laughs> while I started pinning out some possible um, lyrics. Um, a lot of lyrics reflect a lot of some of the things we've been looking at in these videos and uh, discussions I've had with other people in my life, my friends and stuff. Um, you know, talking about loneliness uh, or things that inspire hope for people, being kind and caring. And it just all seemed to pour out into this song. Uh, after writing the first sort of draft, I then sort of did a tidier draft, which is still on the notepad. Uh, so it was a little bit tidier and I started putting some chords on it. And this year I was playing a good piano, which I don't really play very much, but like gave me the bass chords. And then <clears throat> a bit later, I came upstairs and I started just playing in my bathroom, um, trying to replicate what I played on the piano, on my guitar, and was thrashing out, trying to record various versions of this song. Um, all pretty similar, but it's very hard with the vocals because sometimes you're trying to find a groove with vocals and I only get it by thrashing out and the problem is I can't quit a song until I find that final sound and I've done a recording which I'll show you in a minute my initial recording um, <clears throat> and then my final product which literally when I had almost given up I just got to a point where I was feeling a bit tired with it and I was using certain chords um, around C chords that don't make much sense to you but and I was messing around with different uh, keys to try and see if I could identify the right key but then suddenly I changed the chord to more of a G structure and then played around with a capo to give me different keys and actually what I fell on was almost the original key <laughs> which I first wrote on the piano but I suddenly got in a groove with the vocals it started to flow really well I sat on a toilet because I felt a bit exhausted and I just almost exhaustively just ran through the song again having by that point uh, typed it up on a screen like this uh -huh. I don't think you can see that um, <clears throat> put it on my phone and sat down on the toilet <laughs> and just started plucking away and suddenly it dropped and the song was made uh, certainly in its main template form and you know a lot of these things can sound quite different when you put a band and maybe mix up with sounds and stuff but I really like this simple in a room lonely isolated sound that seems to come with my songs but yet I'm never alone always hopeful and it's amazing all these things you know perfect timing of life you know this ray of sunlight shining down hitting this piano and the reflections on conversations about the impact of a person playing a piano can bring you know uh, influence our lives uh, in a profound way where somebody can seemingly write in a song things that connect with our experience and bring us hope um, you know a pathway home to who we are 
um, within the song. You know, and life, I believe, seems to create all these songs for us. <clears throat> and it's quite amazing. We can tap into this. So anyway, here we go. So this is Upon the Black and White Bones. You know, because the keys used to be made of ivory. <laughs> If you knew that, but anyway, it's amazing. See you later. Listen to this. The morning sunlight upon these black and white bones. She shares the colors of her own soul. Through the world she's walking among. Skies. Precious lips, will you sing for me? Let your song arise and set us free. Sing an song of how life should be. Set to perfect time.